Hey guys, it's Scott the Steenroller Steen with winnersandwiners.com coming to you with the one and only Steenroller free play of the day. As always, if you're having a little fun, maybe even making a ducat or two, we'd appreciate it if you'd give us the thumbs up, give everybody a chance to do it here right at the beginning of the video before yours truly gets to yakking and forgets all about it. So let's hover over that thumb. I'll count it down. Three, two, one, smash, click, boom. There you go. Well done, everybody. Thanks, as always, for the effort. If you haven't subscribed already, you should do that, too. If you haven't checked out winnersandwiners.com, you ought to head over there. Great place. Second opinions, deep dives, previews, and predictions into every game every single day. Always free. And, of course, speaking of free picks, we want yours. Put them up in the comment section. I brag about the comment section. I brag about you guys as handicappers every single day. And for good reason, because you're very, very good. So let's throw those picks up in the comment section. And you get them right, I'll give you the shout out. You get enough of them right, and you could be the capper of the day. All right, quick recap of yesterday's action. Well, guys, if you listen to our radio show every Monday through Friday, 4 p.m. Eastern on WWPR, 1490 Tampa, well, you know we have a segment that we do there every day called Rocking Chair Wins. That's the easy victories where you just get to sit back, light up a big fat stogie, maybe have a bourbon or two, and sit in the rocking chair. And that's exactly what we had yesterday as John Means. What a performance! Not too shabby by old John Means. Throws 26 of 27 first pitch strikes. And that's the way to win games, and that's the way to keep them off balance. He gave up no hits, one wild pitch on a call, on a uh, on a third strike. That uh, they actually threw the guy out at second, so he faced the minimum. They don't get a lot easier than that. And like I said, nobody reached second base uh, <laughs> for uh, the Seattle Mariners. The Cooch wasn't bad. Cooch gave up two in the first. That was two too many. So uh, can't blame it on the Cooch. Blame it on the Cooch. Blame many things on the cooch, but you can't blame this one on the cooch. As John means, you just got to tip your cap, and we'll put that one in the victory column and take a look and see what we got cooked up for today. Uh, taking a look in the National League as the Milwaukee Brewers and the Philadelphia Phillies get together. By the way, guys, that is an early game. Let me get you an official start time on that. I like to give out uh, the start time when I remember um, for the early games, and that is... Like I said, a very early game. That is 105 Eastern time. So plan accordingly. Make sure you get your plays down on this one. I am taking a look at Milwaukee, the first five in this one, as uh, Brandon Woodruff goes for the Brew Crew against Zach Wheeler for the Phillies. Uh, first five run line, by the way, minus a half is plus 115. I like it. You know, this is just simply back in Woodruff. He's been outstanding so far. Um, and at the same time, uh, Hader's good. They uh, got a couple of other decent arms out in that bullpen, but the rest of them, it can be an adventure in that Milwaukee pen. I want to take them out of the equation. Uh, no heroics at the end, please. Now, uh, Woodruff, well, you know, he was kind of overshadowed um, as Corbin Burns had his run, but now with Burns on the DL, it is back to uh, Woodruff, who's pretty much been the ace all along, by the way. Struggled a bit as in, in his opener. Uh, although they did win the game, but he was stellar in his last four, uh, covering 25 innings, giving up just two earned runs in those four starts with a whip of .52. Uh, he has, like I said, gone at least six innings in all four of those games. So if we see the bullpen in this one, uh, we're probably beat. <laughs> uh, Wheeler, he's been fine, but he has given up at least three runs in four of his six starts. If he does that today, we are absolutely golden. Uh, we don't need much offense from Milwaukee. Good thing, because they ain't got much. But I think we're going to be able to get enough off of Wheeler. Woodruff does his thing. Let's call it uh, Let's let's call it 3-1 there in uh, the time the bottom of the fifth is over. All right? So get yourself down on the Milwaukee Brewers. First five run line, minus a half, plus 115. At the end of that one, you guys can join me as we pick up our winning tickets and head back to the window. All right, everybody, you know how I did yesterday. Let's take a look and see how y'all did, shall we? I will say right off the top of the bat, we've got a four-way tie for Capper of the Day. Four-way tie. Uh, only the nation checks in going 2-0 and plus 200. Nice job only. Dank Dabco, great name, great nickname. Don't care if it's real. Don't even care if it's made up. It's a wonderful name. Dank Dabco, 2-1-1 plus 90. 
Buddy's House of Food goes 4 1 plus 290. Timothy Fuqua stays hot going 4 0 and 1 plus 400. Memon Thunderbird, another nine, another nice day for uh, Mr. F going 4 and 1 plus 290. But your co cappers of the day, Sean O'Reilly going 1 0 plus 500 on the uh, Knicks Denver under. Jan Dudley playing first five in that Baltimore game. Uh, well done, Jan, going 1-0 plus 500. Jay Aville going 1-0 plus 500. Uh, he had uh, Philadelphia in the first quarter, laying the points. No problem there. Jayville, the Jacksonville, Jayville. Is that you, Blake Bortles? Is that you, Blake? And the old T-Train chugging into the station going 1-0 plus 500. He had those Red Sox team total over. So nicely done, everybody. And it's, like I said, a four-way tie. So Sean, Jan, Jay, and the T-Train, you four are the cappers of the day. Congratulations to each of you. Congratulations to everybody else. A lot of nice, uh, a lot of nice scores up there tonight. Uh, definitely some money being made. So let's go out there and see if we can keep it going, all right? You guys have a great day. Wish you nothing but the best of luck. Hope every one of those tickets in your pocket turns into cash money when you head back to the window. All right? You guys have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everybody.